Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever living boo boo stain off of that subscribe button as we climb even further beyond the 1K ladder. Did you know that we're sitting at over 1,000 videos on the channel? Over the past 10 years now, 10 plus years, that I've been posting videos off and on onto YouTube, and now we're hitting that consistent route of, you know, every day, every other day. We have over 1,000 videos and over 1,000 subscribers, 1,068 to be exact, on the channel. Man, the years have gone by. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to go check out those oldies but goodies. Maybe some are a bit cringe. But what's not cringe is the market because, honestly, Yu-Gi-Oh! is kind of cheap, even though I'm looking at two cards that are 100 bucks and two that are 60 But these are just pre-sales for amazing defenders. So sit back and relax. We go through the market here a little bit because we're still in a Tier 0 format, and there's really nothing to talk about, and it's toxic. So amazing defenders uh, pre-sales are up, and these are jacked up prices do not buy these pre-sales this is not worth it there's nothing in the set that's worth getting besides maybe the makanko stuff and even then you're better off just getting that stuff uh as singles you know even uheim is 22 this is all just inflated because of pre-sales even boxes are 60 bucks you know just just wait the set's really not that good honestly it's kind of a bucket of shit if i'm being honest um so just keep that in mind. Just want to let you know that they're up, but don't touch them with a 10-foot pole. Uh, Hall Mama, the Magnificent Maven set, a.k.a. Mama Wama Chama. Uh, $500 for Dark and Jish Girl. Makes sense. Uh, Blue Eyes are sold out because, of course, they are. Uh, the Secret Rares are $175. Talents is are $120. Uh, Change of Heart Ultras are $147. Meanwhile, the Secrets are basically $105. What's going on with Change of Hearts? What? Uh, oh, really? You're not going to show me all the versions? Well, we'll... Uh, do it the old-fashioned way, then. Let's see. Change of heart. So, Ultra Pharaoh's Rare is actually leading the charge. The Yuki's World Secret Rare is like 18 bucks. DB1 Ultra. That, that it, There's no way that it's $7. Let's check out the Metal Raiders version, too. Let, let show, show Dad what you're working with. Uh, let's see. No, just show me the Near Mint. So, Near Mint is actually $26. For an Ultra Rare out of Dark Beginning 1, that's not terrible. Now, this is Unlim. Uh, Dark Beginning 1, I guess, was only printed in Unlim, so keep that in mind. Uh, Metal Raiders. This is the one that says Magic Card on it. Ooh, sexy. Uh, let's see. First edition, Near Mint. Uh, Spanish is 70, and then you jump up to 140 on up to 265. Holy balls. Where do these cap out at? Uh, pfft, BGS 9.5, not even a PSA, a BGS for 1850. And before that, it's a thousand dollars. Oh my God. I mean, if you want a first edition, that's really not bad out of metal Raiders. I'm not even going to be a, see, that's not bad. Yeah. I mean, it's a one of that is searchable off of tasking, but basically every card in the game is searchable now off of tasking dark wing boo boo stain. Um, it's, it's doing its thing. Rukalos, 165s. Ninjas are 60s. Yeah, okay. Magnumuts are 17s. Expect this to drop like a rock if and or when this goes to one. Same with Druid Worms. They're at 12s. Honestly, if I were you, if you're just waiting on a ban list to drop, put, sell all of your Magnumuts. Sell all your Druid Worms. Like, I know that that seems kind of counterproductive because like, well, Avery, they're amazing right now. Yes, but if you're just taking a break from the game until we get a balance, there's no reason for you to have buy steel cards, whether it's Saroiner, Magnuma, or Druid Worm. Because I mentioned on my balance video, there's a strong possibility since we saw in the OCG that Magnuma is going to go to one. Remember, it doesn't just search a buy steel monster, it searches any dragon at the end of the turn. So it can search a dragon ruler, it can search any dragon monster needed for Dragon Link to make their plays on the next turn. This card is very good. It's a very good searcher, and I could easily see it going to one. I don't think Druid Worm will, but I think we could see that happen with Magnemite. Uh, Ignis Phoenix is three bucks. Regular Rucalos are threes. Sprins are fives. Saroiners are dollars. Yeah, this, this set really falls off. $93 for booster boxes. How toxic is that? I mean, look at that jump. And honestly, it's probably just because of the cash tier stuff. Yeah, you're looking at $94. That's toxic. Yeah, no, no thanks. Speaking of cash tier stuff, you're looking at 70s on Fenrir's. Unicorns have dropped off a bit. They are slowly rising. Um, that don't, don't use Magic Fence. They're offline. So you're basically looking at $21. If you want to play cash tier up and you don't feel like waiting for a ban list to maybe see what happens, 
um, then you need to pick up your copies now. Uh, you know, I mentioned in the last Market Watch a couple minutes or a couple minutes, a couple weeks ago that you need to pick up your shit like five minutes ago. The, the ship is going to sail and you don't want to be sitting there with poo in your pants crying that you don't have the money for it. Get your shit now. I'm telling you, get your shit now. I should have three unicorns, but one of them got lost in the fucking mail and I bought them for $13 a piece. So I lost my ass. Uh, let's see. Also, Photon Hypernova, just to let you know, uh, boxes are 75s. If you want to go in on a set, I know I've said before, don't buy this set, don't buy that, but I've talked about in the past that you should get Photon Hypernova. You want to save your money for Photon Hypernova cases. I've already got a case pre-ordered. Don't get it here on TCG Player. This is very overpriced. I pre-ordered my case for $750 a couple months ago from, uh, I want to say it's called Dick and Jane's Card Shop. I could be wrong. I thought it was like Dick and Jane's Card Shop. Um, and they were doing pre-sales on the cases for like $750. So if you look around hard enough, you can find cases for $750. Because if you're paying $75, you're paying like over a grand. Don't do that to yourself. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! in general. I always like to do this from time to time. Type in Yu-Gi-Oh! Price it high to low and just see what's going on. Because really, outside of those things, there's not much going on in the market. Because we're really in a downward trend right now. You know, it... Honestly, I, I know that this may sound kind of clickbaity, but it's just kind of the truth. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! is just dead right now. Like, there's, if, if there was ever a time where Yu-Gi-Oh! was dying, it would be right now. Because outside of maybe some collector stuff, there's really not much going on in the market. There's not much going on tournament-wise. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! is really dead. Uh, we need a balance to fix that. And I just sale at $200. I had a Champion Pack Super for years. I sold mine for $70 back in 2013 Dragon Ruler format in order to get myself a big eye. I actually don't regret it, quite honestly. Dark Law Ultis are over 400 Of course they are. Uh, Spy Supers are 250 and they're being bought out. Why? Ultimate Rare Dark Arms are 300 Okay. Uh, Shining Flare Wingman Ultimate Rare over $100. Uh, no. We, we, we don't do that, boo-boo. Uh, Dimension of Chaos Booster Boxes. Oh, Jesus. What is this? $328. And they're being bought out? What? Dimension of Chaos was the uh, Pepe set, if I remember correctly. Yeah, don't don't buy that. That's a horrible investment. Like that, no. Legendary Duel's White Dragon Abyss for three fifty. Sure. Dark Side of Dimensions Movie Box Booster Booster Box. Now that's a good investment. You want something for long term? Hold on to ten years and just triple your money. Yeah, you need to get that. That's a nice piece of nice piece of candy. Foolish Burials. Oh my god, the super rares out of the Turbo Packs. Look at this, 292 all the way up to... Oh, it's just a, like, 50 cent difference. Damaged for 90? What'd you do, fart on it? Oh my god. <clears throat> all these different languages. And they're all light plays. What did you people do? Like, chew on it? Like, bruh. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm losing my voice. All of these light plays. Near Mint for 250. For a one of? No. Oh my god, no. That that's horrible. That is a horrible, horrible thing. <clears throat> Wait until Foolish Barrel ever gets banned and then buy it. Spirit Warriors 175. Wow. That's not good at all. Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge for 280. Hmm. Interesting. Oh god. Cyber and Dragon Ultimate Rare. First edition market is over a thousand dollars. Are you out of your fucking mind? Hit me with this. German for 400 What? That much of a jump. You can get a German near mint for $400, and then we're up to $1,100. He's capped out at $4,000. Hit me. What? No. Saiba and Drake. Hmm. Okay. That's a, that's a rather interesting price for a German, and then it just skyrockets to the moon. Uh, Trap Trick Alamaris Starlight Rare is two eighty five. So that's out of Eternity Code. Keep in mind that we do have the new Trap Trick support coming out. The Structure Deck is dog shit. Don't get me wrong. I may actually make a video about it later. Um, but if you want to get in on like Max Rarity Trap Trick stuff, this is not a bad purchase. If I'm being quite honest, um, just to see here what's going on with it. Yeah, Ultimate Rare Reflages are thirty fives. If you want this stuff, like. Come through and get it now. Trap Trick Track Hole Nightmares Ultimate Rares are 20s. Meyer Melio Supers are 7s. Sarah's Secret Rares are 13s. This stuff really is not terrible, ladies and gentlemen. Like, this stuff is very, very cheap. 
Like, honest, seriously, I'm not even kidding. Look at this. Structure Deck First Edition Display is $82. That's on a pre-sale. But, like, if you just need one, like, you can just get in early. $285 for a Starlight is not terrible in the slightest. You can get a Spanish right now for $270 and then $285. That, I'm telling you, if you want to play Trap Tricks and you want that max rarity shit because you want to flex because you want to be that guy, then now is the time to get your stuff. Look at this. I mean, this stuff is cheap. This stuff is mad cheap, ladies and gentlemen. So, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below about today's market. I just kind of want to look at more odds and ends things. But regardless, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.